Hello, it's Leslie Lois Unfiltered. How you doing today? Oh my gosh, so much to talk about. Uh, that what happened on the Bachelor finale, part one, by the way, part one. Uh, and I almost forgot, happy shoes day. I actually don't have any shoes to show you today. Uh, <laughs> I totally spaced it when I left for work earlier today. So anyway, it definitely is, uh, uh, it was a, a lot to take in last night. So let's get going. It's not even the end of it. <sighs> I'm kind of annoyed. Okay, so. Uh, now we are at the point where it's just Hannah Ann and Madison, right? So uh, Peter goes and hangs out with his family for a little bit to kind of catch them up on what's been going on. And he tells them it's Madison and, and Hannah Ann. And that um, they asked, you know, as Hannah Ann said, she loves you. And he's like, oh, yeah, she's, you know, she said she's in love with me. And, uh, you know, and he says all these great things about her and stuff. And then they asked about Madison and they said, has Madison uh, said that she loves you? And, the, and he said, no, she hasn't told me how she felt uh, about me. And then he told them about what she had told him before the fantasy suite dates. And about how they haven't, like, after, after that whole thing happened, like, they really haven't talked, you know. Um, which I was actually kind of surprised that he was so open about to his parents about the fact that he uh, was intimate. I mean, I don't know if I necessarily would be talking to my parents about me having sex with <laughs> with uh, multiple people in a short period of time. So he has a much like more open relationship with them, I guess. <laughs> and so right away, I think there was some some apprehension on their part as far as where with with the whole thing with Madison, even though they've met her before and they thought she was a really nice girl. So, you know, so that comes in with H Hannah Ann comes in and um, she like almost gets emotional talking to them about how much she loves him. And um, she like she put it out there, like really put it out there to them saying, I'm so in love with him. I've given it my all. Even if it doesn't work out, I want to know that I gave it my all. I just want him and I, I just want him to be happy. And his mother actually said, the two of them sitting in there, it reminded her of her and her husband, Peter's dad, and how they were when they first met like 30 years ago. You know, and you could tell that they are really taken with her. She's super genuine, super sweet girl. And he does say, he says he is in love with her, not to her, but to his parents and stuff. You know, he said it's tough because I'm torn between two women. You know, I really, I, I love them both. And it couldn't have gone any better with Hannah Ann. They absolutely loved her. So, uh, but we, so now we get to the Madison part. And when Madison gets out of the car to meet Peter, this is their first time they've actually had a chance to really talk since the whole fantasy suite thing. And so, you know, you can tell she's just super down and she's just like, I still don't know like how I feel about everything. And she's like, I feel like I'm hanging on by a thread. And uh, and she does admit that she is in love with him, but she's like, I don't know if love is enough, you know, and she's really worried about where they are in their lives and different, just like, there's a lot of things that are very different about them. That's one of the things I've been talking about that I feel like I like Madison, but I just feel like the, the kind of life she wants to lead is not something that I think that he could do without really compromising a lot of things that he's passionate about himself, which is, you know, and he, he opened up to her finally and kind of talked about the whole thing and what she told him about the fantasy suites. And he goes, I don't mean this to come off this way, but there's no other way to say then it was pretty much an ultimatum uh, that you had given me. And, and she said that she said it, um, She's like, this is what I expect. Like, she's like, this is what I was hoping for. And if the, if you end up being intimate, I don't know how I could handle it. That's not what she told him. And she told us, she basically said, I told him not to do something and he did it. Uh, when he told her that he slept with some other woman. So I'm like, eh, no, 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 you're contradicting kind of what you said. So she's like sitting there, not sure what she was gonna, wants to do. And Peter is like, pushing like come on like let's let's make this work let's make this work and stuff and he's like we're worth fighting for and she's like you know that me coming back after fantasy suites uh that's that's showing that I'm fighting for us again she doesn't know if it's going to be enough so finally they get inside and uh, to, to meet the family and stuff 
And there are some really tough questions that they have for Madison. You can you can definitely tell it was a very di different atmosphere. It felt uh, there was tension in the air. And like his mom was very upfront with her and was like saying, you know, uh, she called her out about like talking to him about the ultimatum and stuff. And she's like, and that's when she again defended herself saying, well, like those are my views. And she's like, you're totally have a right to those. But I don't know, like, I don't think it was fair for you to put that stuff onto Peter. Uh, you know, and she basically said, she's like, you know, I appreciate and respect that you have a lot of faith and you want to do a lot of um, work with the church and all that. But basically said, I don't want you to change Peter, you know, and who he is uh, type thing. And so it didn't go over the best. Even, even his dad, when he talked to her also was kind of, you know, like, again, I don't, I don't think that they think he, they are compatible. And his mom said she kind of reminds her of Hannah last season and about how Peter fell head over heels for her. And she went with it, you know, she went a different direction and picked wrong. And she just doesn't think that the, those two are compatible. And she tells Peter that after Madison left, you could tell. And Peter had said earlier, and you hear this so much on this show, my family's opinion means everything to me. If they don't approve of them, you know, I can't be with them. Well, they didn't approve of Madison, but he was just like, I'm head over heels in love with her and, you know, on and on and on about Madison. So you're thinking, oh, well, yeah, there, there you go. Like, right? Really? You've got Hannah Ann who's head over heels for you, will do anything for you, but you like want the chase. You know what I mean? Like, I and, and he kind of, the way he made it sound was like, you know, I, when I, I love, I put everything into it. And it's almost like he's stubborn because he he said something about he doesn't back down when he feels so passionate or is in love with someone. He doesn't back down. He keeps going for it. And I'm thinking, so this is what you're going to do. You're like, are you being stubborn and being like, I can do it. Like no one can tell me what I can and can't do because that's not really smart, right? <sighs> so the next day he is with Madison to spend their last night together before what happens with the engagement, right? Well, right away, Madison, after talking with the family and stuff, she kind of, as she's going there, she's telling us, she goes, I, I really, I don't, I think we're in two different places in our life and, and two different lifestyles. And she said, I, I love him, but I know in my heart, it's the right thing to do is to not pursue this any further. Basically said, she's going to walk away. And so she talks with Peter about this and basically says, you know, I think that this isn't going to work out. We're in two different places and, you know, again, lifestyles. And so she like, she says goodbye to him. I mean, he's obviously devastated, right? So uh, the next day though, he has to go and meet Hannah Ann for their final date. So uh, it was interesting though, because um, that morning he talked with Chris Harrison and he said, you know, I'm so confused. I'm so like heartbroken. Maybe I went through this all wrong, you know? And so he just, he doesn't know where his heart is and he's just devastated and on and on and on. But yet he goes and has a date with, with, uh, with Hannah Ann. Oh my gosh, they go to the kangaroo sanctuary in Australia. Oh my gosh, they got to hold baby kangaroos. Oh, it was so cool. And she just put it all out on the line. She's like, look, I'm just gonna tell you again, like I, love you so much. I see, like, I see you as my future. And I mean, I don't know how much more she could have put it, poured it out to him, but I really appreciate that night with her. He doesn't say anything to her about what happened with Madison, by the way. So she's completely clueless. So that night they're at her hotel room and stuff. And, and she's again, pouring her out, heart out to him. And he said, this has been one of the hardest weeks for me because my heart's being pulled in two different directions. And she said to him up front, she's like, well, it, it really hurts to hear you say that. It really hurts that I am here telling you, I am here for you. I am in, totally in love with you and not to get anything back. That's really hard. And she said she's at her breaking point uh, with this. And she started, like, she starts to cry. I, I would be crying a lot more when she's holding back tears because she just wants to hear him say something, um, you know, that, and it, it, that's gotta be so tough not to hear it back. Oh my gosh. And I, I, I think that he should be with Hannah Ann at this point. So they say goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that like, so, and that's pretty much the end of it, right? 
Oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. So after this, I believe he goes, he goes back to his, oh, his mom's, his parents' place. So I think this is before the, the two dates. I almost forgot about this. It's huge because this has been something that's been teased from beginning of the season. Bring her home to us. Bring her home. And we were all wondering who his mom was talking about. She was talking about Hannah Ann. I mean, she was crying. She thinks that, that you know, she said she prayed to God for a sign. And she thinks that God put Hannah Ann there for him. Um, someone to love him as much as he deserves to be loved and she's so emotional and she's yet saying this to him and Peter's like mom you can't you can't do this you've got to stop stop this like you can't put that type of pressure on me I need to make my own mind up and which of course we all think it's Madison so uh, so you think okay he still doesn't know if he's going to ask Hannah Ann to marry him he's kind of like like that's it that's the show ends right so tonight I think what happens is Madison decides that she um, made the wrong decision, that she she really does love Peter and wants to be with him. Oh my gosh. At this point, I think he is ready to ask Hannah Ann to marry him. And I think he finds out right before that Madison has changed her mind. And I think that's where he's going, oh my God, I think I'm going to pass out all this stuff. And so I don't know what happens. Like, I don't know who he's saying I'm sorry to afterwards. Like, I almost wonder, did he get engaged to Hannah Ann and then realized he wants to be with Madison the whole time and he breaks it off with Hannah Ann? Ugh. I just don't think it's fair. Uh, I really hope it's not what I think it is, which is that it's Madison that he picks because I think it's a big mistake. Why don't they ever listen to me? <laughs> and the thing that kind of is driving me nuts tonight, I'm going to a hockey game tonight. <laughs> So I won't be able to even start watching it until I get home tonight or watch it tomorrow morning before I go to work because I have to know what's going on. I have to stay away from social media to try to, you know, not see spoilers and stuff, even though I kind of want to, you know what I mean? <sighs> oh my gosh. So uh, I guess supposedly even Peter doesn't know uh, what's going to happen. So that, I, I don't know. They're so good at editing stuff that I don't know what it's, what's going to happen. It looks like at one point his mom is really upset. So I'm thinking, oh my God, he did go with Madison and they don't approve. And oh my gosh, I don't know. We'll find out tonight, right? Ah! <laughs> All right. Enough of this. I'm out. I'll talk to you again tomorrow on the next Leslie Lois Unfiltered. See ya.